today's adventure, I'll be heading to San Bernardino, California to visit the first location of McDonald's. But first, I'm gonna go get some gas. And right now, I'm gonna go pick up my buddy who is also coming with me. Now I'm just waiting for him just to come out somewhere. 20 minutes later. Oh, I see him. He's coming. Took me long enough, yeah? Yes, sir. Dude, I was just thinking we should vlog this. I was almost gonna bring my camera, but I was like, you know what? The phone, the, the phone will be okay. Well, I mean, I already started already. Okay, perfect. So, yeah. Wow. Yep, and we're already here. Ooh, free admission. Dude, the real homies over here. So what do you think? Dude, I saw, so the mural on the side, really detailed. It says like the world's most detailed mural. They're not kidding around. Yes, sir. There's a lot going on. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to take everything in. Yeah. So when you come in, free admission, and you get vlog, take pictures inside, and it's free. Stuff from, from different countries dude i kind of want to go home and like make one like i kind of want to buy like a big mac or whatever and then just like add in jalapeno to make Los Wachos. it's like non-stop toys and figures of everything that's donated here man dude what happened to toys man i feel like it's just not the same anymore exactly there's so much creativity so much variety so much like I don't know, stuff I'd actually want to play with. Wow, they have Disneyland Paris. All this from oh, Italy and then other uh, Europe places. Wow. The old America Round, which old McDonald's used to have for their playgrounds. So kids could play on and go around. Here's stuff from the 1970s. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Mm. <laughs> it says, please do not eat at this place. Please, I beg you, do anything but eat the toys. <laughs> well, I like these cool relics of the Muppets and Charlie Brown gang. So what's your rate on this movie? the founder honestly i thought it was really well put together really well shot acting was really well obviously i don't know the story so i don't know how accurate it is but i would give it a solid nine out of ten yeah it made me hate ray croc and want to support the brothers so mcdonald's massacre Imagine literally dying at a McDonald's. How much the boxes change? This is like the stuff our parents grew up with. That's actually pretty hard. Yeah, yeah I would wear that.
So this was the office of the owner of Juan Boyo. Who runs this museum, right? Yes. Yeah. Now it's like a museum, a, the, a display. The chicken, yeah, the chicken yeah. Kids playing already? Yeah, I see, dude. I, I might be the next one in line. Yeah. <laughs> I go on the chopper. Almost yeah. have them. All those uh, a dinosaurs. Yeah, it's a whole mural. It's basically stuff like on Route 66 and yeah. other historic places. A lot of addition. So this was the spot where the original McDonald's used to be, and there's a dog barking. And they still have the original buildings where the McDonald Brothers' office were. <laughs> so we just got out museum. It was nice. Friendly people operate this place. But yeah, everything's all donated here at McDonald's. The museum. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on it? Dude, I thought it was pretty cool. Just everything that was inside, the wrappers, some of the menus, items, pictures, toys. It was pretty overwhelming. Um, I'm a big fan of history, so I think stuff like this is pretty cool to check out. Yeah. Um, and then now knowing about the other McDonald's locations, the one in Downey, which is the oldest one. Yes. And then the other one, or I guess the first one that Ray opened out in Illinois, I think that'd be a cool one to eventually check out. Yeah. But yeah, man, I, I really wish that McDonald's would just spend some money, like the corporation, to either make this into something huge or sort of have an official McDonald's Corporation Museum, because that would be sick, but... Yeah. So you think um, Ray Clark is a good guy or a bad guy? I still don't like him, man. From from the research, from what we were told inside, from the movie, I wanted to like the guy. I really did at the beginning. I wanted, I wanted to support his vision and his, you know, his his passion for growing this into a big business. But man, he really screwed him over. That was cool. I'm really hungry now. Yeah, same. So we might go eat at a Juan Pollo. <laughs> which the owner of Juan Pollo um, opened this operation business. So we're gonna go check it out and eat some chicken soon. Right yeah. Now. All right, here's our meal. Oh, a tortilla blocking it. <laughs> Chicken. Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the same thing, just with different sides. Yeah. But got to support, you know, the head honcho who's putting that unofficial museum together. Yes, sir. So can't wait to try this. Okay, so this is the second day. We're going somewhere very special that is related to McDonald's still. And right now I'm gonna go pick up my friend again, Diego, and to come with me on our next adventure. Welcome back. Woo! Day two. Adventure time, day two. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, awesome. So we're going to down in California for the original, still operating McDonald's that's been going on since the 50s now. So are you pretty excited? Yeah. So we finally made it to the McDonald's here in down in California. And there's a speedy. I wonder if it lights up at night. That'd it probably does. Oh, dude, look, there's, there's like a little flap over here. Oh yeah, let's go check that out. All those McDonald's that is still operating to this day. Uh, I believe it was open in 1955. Pretty awesome. And it still has a golden arches still. I'm about to go get lunch at McDonald's at the old original operating McDonald's here. I'm so excited. excited. I've never had McDonald's before. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I guess this area was like a, it's a museum now where you could just go look at the history of the past at this old uh, restaurant. Yeah, I see like there's some plates, some like menus and different memorabilia and shit. But right now it's closed because you know everything because of the pandemic or COVID. Um, 
But yeah, so I think we're about to order and then just eat outside of our car. So I guess back in 1994, this uh, McDonald's was closed from an earthquake, but then they opened back in 1996 when they added this uh, museum operation. But it looks pretty cool here. Just order my food. Now I just have to wait. I got your food. What happened? You got your food? Yeah, yeah, I bought my food. 669. Nice. So while my food is getting prepared, we decided to go inside the museum. There are some interesting facts and history about McDonald's, about Ray Kroc and the brothers. But yeah, oh, there's Ronald McDonald and Mac tonight. Well, I'll check it. Stop right there. Like it. I like how they have the Ray Kroc hall next to the bathrooms. Oh! <laughs> That's oh so funny. Oh gosh, the shitter. That's Ray Kroc. And so I got the usual, a cheeseburger, fries, big nuggets, drink. I can't believe you didn't go with the spicy nuggets, man. I know, I, I should've. Those are better. But I felt like I wanted to try like the original yeah, OG traditional. food here at McDonald's. So we just finished eating McDonald's and it was very satisfied. Um, it was a nice place. Come by here in uh, Downey, California. Oh, yeah. forgot to mention, I got this shirt in San Bernardino. Yeah. Uh, just to represent the history of McDonald's. Big McDonald's back. But if you like this video, like, subscribe, and I'll keep up the content going. And yeah. This is an unpaid sponsorship.